r slash ask reddit what lie do you repeatedly tell yourself you'll remember that no need to write it down this is me too or after i do write it down i know i wrote it down somewhere where is it i'm not procrastinating i'm just waiting for the right moment can't start something unless it's on the five or ten or quarter hour or Absolutely. What sort of monster starts a project at colon 17? I'll wake up early tomorrow. And I'll get to bed earlier tomorrow. That's what I tell myself every time before I do a 3 inch line of cocaine. That way you go to bed at 5am and accomplish your goal of going to bed early. Over the last couple months I've basically brute forced myself into going to bed a couple hours earlier and waking up earlier. It really has been a major life improvement. I'm naturally a chronic night owl. I've got time. Not only do I have no idea how much actual time I have left, each moment that passes, I have even less. Mr. Incredible taught me that I don't have time. Mrs. Incredible taught me that I don't have time for skinny ass bitches. Gonna go ahead and put Mrs. Incredible in the thickums category. Just one more video before bed. I used to stay up way too late and I realized that looking at screens was the problem. It was a vicious cycle of feeling awake and staying up later using the computer. The thing that saved me was getting some blue light filter glasses for looking at screens. Maybe it's a placebo and they don't really do anything. But I swear I can watch all the rubber ducky porn I want before bed and have no problem going to sleep as soon as I want afterwards. I'll lose weight. I'll start eating salads for lunch and running tomorrow. Tomorrow always brings stress pasta and wine. I've addressed this by tackling one problem at a time. I picked the gym as the easier behavior change. Now I go 5-6 days a week each week after I started going again in mid-December. After losing about 30 pounds. Now the gains are stalling and I'll have to address the diet issue. However, my gym habit is now established. If I try doing both at once, I'm sure I would have failed like the times before. If you had to pick one though, diet is far more effective important. I just wasn't happy with my activity level. I needed to read this. For the past month and a half I've been trying to tackle both the diet and the exercise issue and failing because it's too much of a change to manage. Keep up the good work though. Happy for you. Just remember, diet is to lose weight, and exercise is to look great. I'm over her. I'm good to move on. Gets text from her at 11pm on a Friday night. Ah shit here we go again. Yep. And then once you think you're actually good. They hit you up and tear open the wound again. I'll clean my apartment in an hour. I swear. Also, I'll go to bed at a reasonable time tonight. That everything is okay and it'll end up fine. God do I relate to this. I hope you're okay though. If you're not, that's okay too. I'm sending virtual hugs your way. Honestly one of the best things you can tell yourself. It's like the act like you belong and eventually you will. Continued actions and mentality, forced or not will become habit, for better or for worse. As long as you continue to tell yourself everything is okay and will end up fine and you are actually acting like that's true. That is, working or actively looking for work and trying to stay healthy and maintain what you enjoy versus spending your time drinking waiting for something to come your way. You'll wake up one day and realize that everything is working out and you are truly okay. My crush likes me back. This was just supposed to be a meme WTF. But then again she may also hate everything about me because she hasn't texted me in like 30 minutes. Left on read and then proceeded to update insta story. Ducking ouch. I'm a healthy eater. It's just a fart. And I'm only imagining it felt wet. And everyone can't smell it. There's someone out there for everyone. Relatable and sad oof. Everything will turn out okay. One of my favorite quotes that has gotten me through many dark times, I can elaborate if need be, it's, so far you've survived 100% of your worst days, it will be okay, it doesn't feel like it, it doesn't seem like it, but it's a good lie in that it is the truth. Tomorrow I'll wake up early and go to the gym. I just go to the gym after work so I don't have to wake up early. This is a real plan that is going to pan out and not just wishful thinking. 
I remember reading some quote or stat that you only have to tell a lie willfully like 3 times before you yourself start believing it. And I remember thinking well that's a load of garbage. Fast forward to the present. I'm wearing a boot and crutches after a heel injury. I was on a group trip and we were playing some game where you had to stomp on balloons tied to other teams legs to eliminate them from the game. I went for a balloon while another team's player went for the same balloon and I wound up with my foot power driven into the floor. Heel first, resulting in multiple fractures to the heel bone. Well, at least, that's what I told everyone. Truth is that I was trying to stomp a balloon but it popped out of the way as I was stomping it, glancing blow, and I just drove the heel into the ground myself. No other foot stomping me down. That didn't make for as cool a story and after the first almost reflexive lie of oh yeah someone stomped my heel down that's why I'm limping. I just had to roll with the fake story for the rest of the trip. People would ask me repeatedly, and I'd always tell the same story. Somewhere in the twisting fury of stomps, I had my foot driven into the ground by a wayward opponent. Tough luck. Back home from the trip, I was talking with my orthopedic surgeon who was remarking it's a really unusual thing to have a heel fracture in this way after you just stomped the ground and I told him oh no it was actually another person who stomped my heel into the floor. So there was more force than just me. It wasn't until I was leaving his office that I had a moment of realization. That wasn't the truth. But I had told it to a doctor privately as though it was. I didn't bend the truth to save face or seem tougher to my doctor. The lie had just become so rote that I'd fallen back on it automatically. Even to a medical professional. In the moment. That was the experience I was remembering in my head. And it had never actually happened at all whatsoever. Definitely one of those moments that makes you reflect on how honest you really are. If I could lie about that reflexively and not even realize it. Could I be lying to myself about other things equally as unaware? This has happened to me too a few times. I got a ticket for driving on expired tags. It was my birthday 20th. And I didn't know tags expired the first day of the month of your day. For some reason I didn't want my friend's family knowing about it. So I lied about it and said I got a ticket for running a red light and it got mailed to me. I swore I made it and those damned cameras got me. I eventually went to traffic court and I got it dropped and didn't have to pay anything. Years passed and I told it a few more times for some reason until it became the only ticket I ever got was. It wasn't until I got pulled over for driving a suspicious vehicle. Too long didn't read my car looked like a local drug dealer's car. And chatting with the officer I said something along the lines of the only ticket I've ever had was running a red light that I swear I made. Damn cameras. And the cop who'd already run all my info said oh. News to me. I don't see any previous issues. He laughs and I laugh then I remember that it wasn't a real story and the charges were dropped. Felt like a moron. People actually like me. I'm a good person. It wasn't my fault. Tucker did it. After this, I'm done beating my meat. After beating my meat, sleeps. Like 5 minutes later. Real shit. That thing I've had a daily reminder for. For the last 103 days. Yep, I'll totally do it tomorrow. I have value. Someone will see it. Someday. Mate this thread is for lies. Not truths. Just one more Netflix video, and before you know it you have finished 10 episodes all night. Nothing is ever that bad or could be worse and while that's true, I tend to use it to minimize the actual impact. I keep telling myself that I am fine and that I don't need therapy, until I am depressed again and then I don't have the energy to find a therapist. They'll get what they deserve lots of evil people get off easy. Whoa. You made it to the end, you're a ducking beast, I'll cut you a deal, smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh, it's free and that's a great price.